Risk. What's it all about? Risk is a possibility of something bad happening. And why do we test? We test to close the risk gap. The gap between what we know about the status of the product and what we need to know in order to make an informed shipping decision about it. The purpose of testing is to close that gap, to close the gap between what we know and what we need to know. And the bigger that gap is, the harder it is to test and the more necessary. The reason we want to do that is because we want to know about things that might threaten the value of the product to people who matter, to our testing clients and to their customers, the people that might be getting value out of the product or might have their values affected by the product. Managers want an answer to that question. Are there problems that threaten the value of the product to people who matter. Also, we need to ask, are there problems that threaten the value of the testing? That is, things that get in the way of testing, things that make it harder, slower, less valuable, less responsive to the needs of the project. Now, there's a classic approach to risk analysis, and it's all engaged in this idea of probability times impact. But probability What's that? Uh, the probability that some problem will happen. What does it even mean? Uh, are we talking about probability uh, in uh, the same kind of sense that we would have for a game, a ludic probability? Uh, uh, sometimes people talk about it as aleatory probability, like uh, if that comes from the Latin word for dice, uh, probability associated with the roll of the dice. But there are different kinds of probability. There's a probability of uh, uh, somebody doing something unexpected or un unanticipated. Uh, a probability that somebody might turn out to be a bad person even though we believe we know them reasonably well. How can you hang a number on that? All you can do is say, well, that's a, a reasonable surprise. So, on the one hand, we've got a, a probability distribution, a number, on another, we've got more of a, a feeling or a qualitative evaluation about these things. And that is always a guess. Uh, so probability is a guess. What about impact? What bad things could happen? Uh, maybe uh, how badly a problem affects a user. It might be how many users are impacted. It might be, OK, what if, uh, if people die? What if just one person dies? Or what if hundreds of people die? Well. If we don't know about what's going to happen, if we don't know things about the future, that's just a guess. What if a problem doesn't actually cause anybody to die, but what if it keeps our operations people uh, working after hours? What if the problem only affects the company's bottom line? Maybe it doesn't affect the company's bottom line at all, but it affects the company's reputation. So, one kind of guess, another kind of guess, the product of guess times guess is guesses squared. Let's look at this a little bit more expansively and a little bit uh, more, let's then unpack the ideas about risk. You sure you want to put a single number on this stuff? Are you sure? Because look at all the dimensions of this. Probability, maybe it affects everybody all the time. Maybe it affects most people all the time, or maybe it affects some people only occasionally. Maybe it affects a few people occasionally or a few people rarely, or maybe it only happens under exceptionally weird conditions. Severity, uh, impact. Well, there's a, a one sense of impact, which is how bad the problem is. Is it irreparable damage or is it damage that can be remediated somehow? Is it limiting to us or is it maybe just only a little bit irritating or maybe it's livable, tolerable, Ugh, we can uh, live with it. Who's the victim? Uh, the victim might be society at large. The victim might be harm to the local society or, or to somebody, uh, uh, an organization or a group, or maybe just a handful of individuals. Or maybe it may be harm to a particular individual who matters to us in some sense. Or it might be an individual to somebody we've decided doesn't matter or it might be harm to people that we haven't thought of, that we haven't considered, that we have ignored, that we've forgotten, or that we're dismissing. What about 
Maybe it's harm to the loved one of a billionaire, which is arguably more important to the problem of the billionaire himself or herself. Uh, maybe it's harm to the billionaire's friends or to the owner of a company or to an internal manager or uh, an internal tech support manager or somebody that we consider, may rightly or wrongly, to be inconsequential. What about impact in the sense of ethics or impact in the sense of reputation? Maybe it's something that shocks the public conscience, that shocks society in some place. Or maybe it violates a law or regulation such that people could go to jail, or maybe it's inconsistent with a standard uh, that uh, is widely accepted and, and uh, uh, promoted, regulated. Maybe it's something that diminishes or destroys trust, or maybe it makes people wonder, why didn't you find that problem? What's going on? Or maybe it's just unreasonably bad. So, let's think in terms of this as a four-part story. Some victim might suffer loss or harm or damage because of a vulnerability in the product that would be triggered by some threat. And when it comes down to analyzing risk, what that's really about is not calculation. It's about story construction. Risk is about negotiating our feelings of dread about the product until we get the energy to change things, to address problems in the product that might affect people who matter. Risk is not about probability or calculation, it's about stories, so that we're motivated to do things to make the product better.